And he's like, it's like the Twilight Zone. I'm not even going in there. And Hiya. It's actually afternoon. It has been an eventful, it's early afternoon. It's been eventful already. We were getting gas at the gas station and some poor lady got hit in the side of her vehicle by a car, another car. And then as we were just coming down the highway, trying to head to Dubuque to take these guys. Well, let's see who's going. Ireland, and Braxton. He's hiding. Where are you at? There you are. <laughs> scratching your foot. They're headed to grandma's house because we're actually going to go in town tomorrow for Labor Day and have a picnic with Stacy and Mike. Our I'm cousins. being lazy. I haven't even got dressed. Yeah. I'm still lounging. Um, but we're headed into town also to go get some paint. But as we were driving down the highway, Matt just about hit a motorcycle head on. Because the guy, like, I don't know what he was trying to do. He was, he was like, trying to get to the bar. Yeah, he was like passing in the lane and then had his blinker on to go left, but he didn't have, I mean, this is a highway. He didn't have the right of way to turn, and he went to like turn in front of the car, and thankfully, Matt has fast reflexes. And he cut the other motorcycle off. Yeah. But yeah, so it's been an eventful morning already. We are headed in to get T some more paint for her room because that's what Mama's doing today is working on the fourth coat of paint. Is it four? Something yeah. Like that. Fourth coat of paint on her wall, so. And I'm pulling my hair out searching for vehicles. Yeah, because we know what we want. It's just <coughs> finding it and finding it in the right price range. So we'll it get is. it. It'll be out there somewhere. We hope. It'll be there. I have faith. But yeah, it's just a matter of finding the right vehicle at the right price. So anyway, that's what we're doing and we're heading into town. What are you doing back there? Hi. My poor Aspen, you guys. I feel so bad for him. So he sees and hears the whole accident. I was inside the gas station paying for the gas and I guess it was really loud. And he kept saying, the truck hit the car, the truck hit the car. So, and he had his little eyes covered. So, yeah, did it hit the car? Yeah, that's what he was doing. So, I think it freaked him out a little bit. gentleman that sits along highway 52 yeah. Yeah. Wait, in different spots yeah in Iowa and between Lake Dubuque and well I don't know how far he goes I, I know, know I've seen him as far as Guttenberg we've seen him in a 40 mile stretch on different spots yeah um, but he sits in a rocking chair recliner and rocks along the side of the highway with a pack stat on so we call him highway on Si. Yeah, because he's got this big long beard and he reminds us of Uncle Si off of uh, Duck Dynasty. He just chills out. He's even got a fake parrot. What? He's got a fake parrot. Oh yeah, that's right, he does. So we're wondering if we'll see him today. So up here is the spot a lot of times underneath this bridge that you'll see him sitting. He parks his truck right there. And he said, so one of these days when we see him, we'll we'll get him on the vlog. Dad's carrying all their, their massive amounts of toys into grandma's. I don't you know. ready to go see grandma? 
Are you gonna have planes chilling out in the back seat? You? I'm moving up front and she's staying right. You're moving right. up front? Yeah. She's staying right? Hi. Braxton and I are staying right? I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> Please don't eat me. Leave a comment if you've never seen Jurassic World. <laughs> Doing back here. Yeah. You ate your candy? You you have suckers stuck to your shirt, sir. You're awfully cute. Can we stay down, Mom? Papa? No, our Papa's not here. We're not getting out. We gotta go to the store and get paint. So yeah. can paint today. I want to talk to Papa. You want to talk to Papa? Papa's not here. He's working. Oh, you want to play with Ria? No, you have to stay in your seat, sir. Hey, you guys. So we just got home. I was picking up the paint for Cheerland's room, and I was thinking to myself, we've been so busy the last few days, and with the homeschooling, getting into the new routine, the house was literally a disaster. I mean, the floors needed picked up. It just it needed cleaned. It was a disaster, but I really wanted to get the paint for T's room. And she decided to stay home while we did that. And here is my lovely tea. So I came home and Matt's got the door closed because we have a door between the living room and the foyer when you walk in and he's like, it's like the twilight zone. I'm not even going in there. And I'm like, what is wrong? And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, something really bad happened. So I got to show you guys what happened. I blew up the house. So this is what I walked into, you guys. Dance party now. Let's take a party and dirty it again. <laughs> I walked, I walked into this, you guys, a perfectly clean house. T, you're amazing. All right, so Aspen is playing with, we went to that St. Vincent store, which is like a secondhand store, and his grandma got him this for $3, you guys. I mean, that is a steal. He is just loving his Toy Story time. He wants to go bye bye. He always wants to go bye bye. You need to get in. You gotta open it. You gotta open it. Like that. There you go. Now you can climb in. So, this is way better than the blanket forts we did, you guys, because it'll actually stay up for him. And there's a second one that my mom picked up for the kids. We haven't set it up yet. It's a Beauty and the Beast one. Okay. Um, but that one actually has like little plastic sticks that go in it and stuff. So, we're gonna wait till Ireland's room's done to set that up for her in her room. Yeah, do you have a tent? Yeah. Oh my goodness, what do you have? I bite him. You bite him? Yeah. Oh my goodness, why'd you bite him? And T's future bedroom, temporary bedroom, and Aspen had to come in and touch the walls. He loves touching the walls when they're dry. He's just fascinated with this new paint. But I'm actually in here getting ready to put the fourth coat of paint on the walls. It really is looking a lot better though. It's really starting to darken up and um, blend it together. So I can't wait to see when the fourth coat's dry how it looks. All right, buddy, go play in your tent. You gotta touch all the walls, don't you? Yeah, yeah, he says. Do you like it? Yeah. Gotta touch all the walls, you guys. <coughs> all right, go out by daddy. Come on now. All right, guys, so I got my hair up, ready to go in T's future temporary bedroom. And man, it is really looking nice in here, though. It is looking good. Uh, and I picked up that gallon of paint. It took me forever. I waited like 30 minutes to get somebody to come to the paint counter to help me. But it was worth it. And I think, I'm hoping the color is the same. It almost looks like this one might be a little darker. It was supposed to be the same coating. It could just be the way she put it on. But yeah. So I'm going to finish up using this one. And then I'm going to open up the new one. So hopefully, hopefully the color is right. I don't know, it almost looks darker. A darker would be fine to go over it. I'm just afraid like if I start two walls and then I use that one, that 
this one's gonna be lighter and that one's gonna be darker. So I need to open it up and take a peek, see what it looks like, because I may just go over the walls with that one. And then I don't have to worry about it because if it is a shade darker, it's not really gonna matter. Um, we kind of want that darker red look in here. But I don't know, the more I look at it, the more I think it might be off a little and it shouldn't be because they went off the same coating. So hopefully not, hopefully it's just the way she put it on there when she uh, spread it on with the, I don't know, they use Q-tip spread it on there and then dry it out. So hopefully not, we'll see. But I'm ready to get started. Before it just gets too late. Got two walls done, a couple more to go. But he needed a little outdoor play. What it? What? A guy rhyme. Do you see a helicopter? Uh, I can hear it. He's coming. He's coming. Where'd he go? Did you find him? Honey, the neighbors moved away. They don't live there anymore. I find them. No, you can't find them. They don't live there anymore. They moved away. Why? I don't well because they got a different house. Come on now. Come on. They moved away. Aspen, come here. Mommy? You can't find them. They moved away. What? They moved to a different house. I find them. No, that's not them. My bees. Come on. My bees. You know. found a bird? Oh, he has it on the rock. Oh, now. you guys, the sky is so pretty. So Aspen is looking for our neighbors. But they moved away about a month ago. Come on. Puppy. Yeah, I see the puppy. Come on, buddy. Oh. They don't live here anymore. Back to heaven. Whoa, what? They are puppies. Yeah. Come on. Can't find them. You can't, honey, you won't find the them. Bike? They away. Is that bike? Yeah, there's a bike there. Aw. I gotta find them. You gotta find them? He's making me so sad. Aspen, come on. So this is the fun of a two-year-old, guys. He's uh, playing in the dirt, throwing it at me. Yeah. Oh, Aspen. Don't throw dirt at mommy. I got wet in your pants. Yeah, you got dirt in my pants, Aspen. Don't throw dirt at mommy. He's so too. All right guys, so the fourth coat is on. It is kind of late, but look at that. This wall is pretty much dry and it is finally starting to cover and blend. So that is exciting. 
I'm glad to see that. Um, I did pull a piece of the paint off, and I don't know if I told you this earlier, but now I'm gonna have to go up and touch up that area because it's pretty light compared to the rest. But yeah, it's finally starting to blend, so I bet you the next two coats is gonna finally bring it all together. I hope. Ooh, you can still see right there, though, that area. We'll see. But yeah, up here where I did the plaster work, that's starting to blend together really well. This wall I just finished, so there's a lot of like streaking and stuff. But yeah, these walls are looking good. I think two more coats and it will be blended the way I want it. So that's exciting. It is coming together and the plaster repair is becoming much less noticeable. So yay. All right guys, so it is the end of the night and everyone in the house has crashed out on me. So I guess I'm gonna sit up by myself and watch a movie my mom's been wanting me to watch. She's been telling me about it and it's on Netflix, so I'm gonna check it out. It's called The Secret. And so I'm pretty excited. I'll have to let you know what I think about it tomorrow, but yeah, it's the end of the night. And it's so quiet in here, everybody's sleeping. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night. And have a happy Labor Day.